Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this lovely little country home folding box. Not only does it hold a wonderful treat, but when you remove it, it'll fold flat. So let me set this aside and I'll show you how I got started. Okay, to start your project, you're going to take a Blackberry Bliss piece of cardstock. This one happens to measure three and a quarter inches by eight and a half. And I am going to lay this on my scoring tool. And I am going to first measure at a half an inch and I'm using my um, scoring tool so that you can see this a little better and then slide it over to three and a half score again four and a half score again and then seven and a half now I can set this piece aside and I can get my mint macaron piece and this happens to measure four and thirteen sixteenths and I am going to set this on the fifteen sixteenths inch mark and score and I'm going to do that on all four sides Now, just a quick tip you do want to use the same end of your scoring tool so that you get a consistent score line and the pieces fit together a little better Okay, now that I've got all four sides done, I want to create a mark in this cross section here where the two score lines meet, one on each corner. And you can erase these when you're done if you'd like. It just gives you a visual so that you can see this. And I'm going to set that point on that groove and line up that um, pencil mark and then run my score tool down the center so that I've got that diagonal score line and I'm going to do that on all four corners. And now I can set my trimmer aside because I don't need that any longer. Now the thing I love about this box is it is a no-cut box and it folds flat when you're done so that you can travel with it and add little goodies to it. It's just a neat little fold. So I'm using my phone folder and I'm folding on all the score lines. And then when I finish with my mint macaron, these diagonal lines, I simply use my fingers and I pinch, folding it inwards so that I've got that score line. You can also use your bone folder if you want to make that nice and tight so that it'll fold a little easier. Okay, at this point I'm going to take my cover, and this smaller piece here is the top, so I want to put that towards the top. And I'm just going to lay this on the inside and make sure that it's going to fold okay as it is. And if not, at this point I can adjust it slightly so that I know I'm going to get a nice folding box that'll lay flat. Okay, now I'm ready to start adhering. When I hold my box, this is going to be the back and front, and I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive here on the inside corner pieces. And then I'm going to fold those in and hold them down. If you notice, I'm only doing the one half of the triangle because I want that triangle closest to the center of the box to move freely count to five and then do the same thing on the other side add a little adhesive to those inside corner pieces and hold for five one two three four five and your box should be ready to adhere to the center now at this point I want those adhered on the back and the front like I mentioned and I am going to add adhesive along the bottom here and then also along the back and the front flap. I'm going to place my box inside and line it up. There's a little bit showing on each side as you can see and I want this nice and straight and I want it to be on those crease lines so that the box will fold. And then we can take our bone folder and score again on both the front and the back flap now with that box inside to give you a nice tight fold. And once this is dry, all you have to do is pull out the two sides and look how that pops up. 
Okay, I've got a three-quarter inch circle from Cajun Craze cardstock and a half-inch circle from Mint Macron. I've adhered those together so that they'll stay nice and tight. I'm going to set this circle just slightly below half because I want this to be my latch and have enough room for that half-inch piece from the top to stick behind there. And I'm going to take my paper piercer and I'm going to go through all layers of the cardstock, including those on my bottom flap of my box and I'm going to wallow it out a little bit so it's easier to take my copper brad and place that in the hole and if you do that on the mat without taking out um, or moving things it'll be easier to locate and get it through all those layers and then I'm just bending down the latch and closing the box. We're going to tuck that behind and there you go. Voila! It's a finished box and when you open it, it will fold flat for you. Okay, I'm going to take a piece of Cajun Craze cardstock and this happens to measure three and an eight by two and seven eighths and as you can see I punched my circle from that piece. Since we're not going to see it, it doesn't matter and I'm going to adhere that to the box top. And then I've taken a piece of Mint Macron, and this measures two and three quarters by three. I've run it through my Big Shot with that fantastic tin tile dynamic embossing folder. And this has got a lot of texture to it, so I am using my multi-purpose glue to adhere this. And I've put that on the top of the box. I'm now going to take a layering circle framelit and this beautiful image from the Country Home stamp set found in the holiday catalog. I've colored it quickly with my Stampin' Blends. I've used Mint Mac Ron and the Cajun Craze in both the light and the dark for the berry. And then the light rich Razzleberry here and I've added some shimmer to those flowers with my Winkostella pen. Excuse me, those are cotton blossoms, not flowers. And I'm going to adhere that onto my circle. And then I'm going to take a couple of dimensionals on the back of that image that's been layered. Okay, now I'm ready for my treat. I found these Russell Stover's Pecan Delights and I thought this decoration on the side looked like our Cajun craze, so I'm going to slip one of those in our box. Pick it up and slide that flap behind the little brad circle layers and I'm done. So let me show you the original again. If you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. You can get there from my blog, Stamp with Ginny. Thanks for joining me.